Welcome to my next video on how to become a successful YouTuber. Now, I said in the last video when we discussed recording that we're going to go on to video editing. I want to give that a break. I mean, we're not going to go on to that quite yet. We're going to go more about recording and different softwares and why I choose XSplit, basically. So if I'd have a look at all the different programs. So first of all, we've got Bandicam. First thing we're going to do is compare on what is easy, what installs good, how good they are, and what the websites are like, what the download rates are, and like. So let's first of all, do Bandicam. Now, here's Bandicam. I have links to all these programs in the tip video description below. There's Bandicam, not the world's best looking website. Myself, when I first seen it, I thought it was a website I couldn't trust. But there we go. Not the world's best, that. But you just click on download Bandicam and wait. And then you see the bottom left hand corner, it's downloading at a good speed. So, yeah, that's good. So, and I've got a bit of paper that I'll put a link, I'll put on the end of the video, well, I'll put on the computer and I'll put on the end of the video, so you can have a look if you want to with marks of what they win and what they don't win. So, Bandicam's got a good download speed. Website look, which isn't that important, but we'll put that there, be a bit silly, but okay. Um, that's okay. So, it's a right. It's not that bad, it works, and obviously, yeah, we'll give that a tick. Okay. Now let's look at OBS. To be honest, I don't like this program, but there you go. And one of the reasons I decided to do is I was chatting to somebody on another YouTube channel, and, oh, he we was discussing of what's better, OBS, or, 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 uh, Explain either because they're BS. I disagree, but there you go. Now, on here, you have to choose straight to it, really simple. Site looks a bit better, still very simple. Click on Windows and it'll download. Give it a second to the start. A lot bigger install a nation. Hmm, not so keen on that. Still a very good download rate. Just as good as the other one, and the site's right, so you can have a tick on both of those for OBS. Okay, let's give that a second or two, it's going to take a bit longer because it's actually it might be faster considering the size of the file. That's that basically done now. We have X Split. The one I like. X Split. You probably know it's only got a game one. The Gamecaster. I don't use that. So this is going to do Broadcaster. If there's any programs like that one, like Gamecaster, you want me to do this too, just let me know in the description below. Okay. Click on that. Get to choose what one you want. Well, we want Broadcaster. Because it's better for broadcasting and games. I think the game one isn't very good for games personally, but I might do a video comparing the two some other point. I think I will actually. Now, site looks amazing. I reckon. Looks very professional. Tick. Now click download. See the speed of that. I do believe that's quicker than the others. Still not a pretty big one which I'm not keen on, but I know it's worth it for this one because it's a really good program. Now it's downloading very fast. I'd say it's as fast as so far. I could be wrong, but you can rewind and have a look at them and use a stopwatch thing if you want to. So yep, it's good than that. Now we'll go across when that's doing that. To the program I used in the very beginning of YouTube Action. 
and all these software are good. I wouldn't put any in. Well, actually, I'm not sure about that. I don't like fraps, and I wouldn't. I don't like fraps. I like OBS, but I would, fraps I wouldn't use. I really, really wouldn't use fraps, but still. This is the old point in it. I could be wrong about some of these things. So one of the reasons I thought it would be good about this video is by testing for myself, I'd be interested to see how these things go. No, 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 not, not children's charity, Mark. What am I doing? Okay, here's actions. It's a nice looking site. So far OBS had a, not OBS, I'm a liar, XSplit had a nice looking site. So we'll give that a little start by XSplit. And the best download rate I'd say. So we know that's the very best one. Action looks a good, nice enough site. It's simple, easy to understand. So you can have a tick on the web. Let's have a look at the download rate. Download trial period. Download. That's very good speed too. Obviously speeds may will vary depending on your internet. As you can see my got good internet. So download speed very good. Now here we go. The dreaded fraps. So far they're all were doing good. And that's because of good programs to be honest. So I didn't choose them from good programs. Apart from this one, I only chose this one because I know a lot of people like it and use it. Really? Now I'm not just going to say what I better say because I don't like the program. But the first thing I see it think is What? <laughs> Without reading the program my initial thought is what does this do? So you look at that, go back to home, for this one for example, they've all like got a picture of a game, of a chord button, it's more obvious. I suppose, yeah, it's got pictures, so it's a bit like that, it's a bit like the TV screen, so I suppose, yeah, it's okay, and I could be being a bit harsh on it. But the website itself, I think it looks a bit plain and boring, but... Yeah, it's easy to understand. It doesn't load when you click on the link. Now that is me tapping this time. <laughs> Let's try that again. Download. Went the site, don't know what it does. As you can see, my internet too. As you've seen, my internet is working. Enhance. Up comes YouTube. So, so far, failure. Absolute failure. Now, obviously, oh yes, okay, yours might load quicker or faster. It's going to depend on your country and where the server is, but still, that is. As far as I managed to even download the program a minute ago. Two seconds, let me just check something. They're all paused, aren't they? Yes. So, yeah, the fraps won't load. So, fraps. Website is going X. Now, I need it to load to see what the download. Yeah, that gets an instant failure on the download too. How can it be a good download rate if the site won't even load? So, yeah, see why I don't like fraps. Now, installing, let's give us a second to just bit of drawing on my paper. I hope I ain't too loud. Me just doing lines. Should have done it beforehand, but there you go. Now we're doing installing. So I N 
STA. I'm not going to fully install it because as you can see I've got it installed already. No. Go into here, into my downloads. Now we're doing first it was Bandicam. Nice, quick, simple, choose your language, plenty of languages. Yeah, that's good. Okay, next, next, next. Choose your location, install, done. Simple, cancel. That gets a tick. OBS. Let's get that deep. Bit bigger files are gonna take a bit longer to load. And all of these speeds will depend on your computer, but still, you'll see the average on my machine. And if it takes longer on my machine, a bit longer than another program, it can take longer, a bit longer than somebody else's machine. Because no matter how fast the computer is, bigger files will take longer to load. That's just just the way it works. You might not notice the difference because you've got a lightning fast, super duper computer. Next, I agree. Choose location. Click next to it. Click install. Yeah. Nice and simple. It gets a tick. Now, XSplit. The one I like using. XSplit Broadcaster, that is. Straight up before you've got to shut down the window. Get to choose a language. My one thing is though, oh yes, XSplit, OBS, where was the language selection? There was no language selection. So let me just write that down a minute. Language, no, it's not good. So that one has a good one, OBS, no. XSplit, yes, but not many selections. And I wish it had English as English. Not English, United States, not being funny to anybody that's American, but English and English-American, there's a big difference. Enhanced pants and trousers, just for example. Now, okay, searching, extracting, takes a bit longer, but still is a good installer. And good programs take a bit longer. And I know for a fact this is powerful and powerful and better than Bandicam. I'd say same with OBS, but people disagree with me. And as well as people saying, "Oh, but Mark, OBS takes XSplit takes up more CPU usage, enhanced the window." That's only because it's telling me. OBS doesn't tell you. Doesn't mean it's not doing it. Just saying. But we'll see what it's like recording games. Okay, then that. Next. Choose your location. Next. Next. Then it's still. Yeah, that's simple. Good. Takes a bit longer, but it's a powerful program. That's fine. Okay, next is action. English, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Stop repeating, Mark. Action, straight up. Lots of selections. So it's got multiple languages. Good one. second that's just extracting is that installing and not letting me choose where to install it and it's paused and it is doing it yeah didn't get to choose where to install it so that's a failure Absolute failure, 
and the website loads up. What is it going to do? Try to promote something? Yeah, try to get you to buy things. And stuff. So, nope, that's a bad installer. Because it forces you to go try to making you buy things. And it doesn't let you where to choose where to install it. It's simple and easy. But it doesn't let you install things. And the installing nation bar went for a bit laggy, I noticed. So... I don't like that personally. Obviously, you can make your own decisions from what you see here yourself. This is just what I feel, how will I feel about this. Now, Fraps, the final one for installing. Well, there's a bad thing. What one is it? A ticket to one called Setup. <sighs> yeah. Ew. This is the website. Let me choose where I've done it next. D Pro, let me just do it again from a look at this. No, he didn't know this, but. Okay, I suppose that passes as in a good installer. But it doesn't have language selection. That's not good. So, so far, let's have a look at this. The best program overall from what we've tested so far is Xsplit, which I did expect. Spandy Cam's got good download, good website, instant app, I mean, good installer, and it's got language, I'll say, same as saying that, same as Xsplit. Spandy Cam is good download, good website, good installer, doesn't have multiple language. Bad point. Xsplit has got everything. I mean, it's got two stars. For its download rate and its website look. So, yeah, it, it is the best one so far. Action. Download rate good, website good. No multiple language. I mean, it has got multiple language, but the installer's a bit dodgy. Or a bit funny, I should say. Fraps. Download speed wasn't very good because I couldn't get it to download. Don't know how I managed it earlier. Bit of luck, I suppose. Well, luck, bad website, as well. Not a very good website, you know, it, hand, it wouldn't load, I click on download and the whole website went flipped out. Installer was good, and no multiple languages. So, Flaps is absolutely failing. So, so far, XSplit is the best one so far. But that doesn't compare, that's nothing for recording, so. So now, on the next section, we'll go with FPS. One of the most important things. Does Boot Bandy come up? No, I shouldn't have done. Um, hmm. It's obviously I'm recording. I can't record and record. So, when this is loaded, I will cut the video and switch from one recording program to another recording program, and I will see you in the game. Oh, a second. But before I do that, though, I will, that does get annoying, I'll be honest. But better is way of turning it off. Um, we'll set it up first. So if I get this, put that over there. And we'll get this one here that I'm recording with at this very moment. Don't worry about the window in the window in the window. I don't know why it shows it like that. I suppose this window here is this screen here. This window here is this window here. And this window here is... This window here, I understand. This looks strange. So, 1920. So that's doing best to same quality. Because they don't all have to be like that. Because I can't record 1080p on that one. But it does do it, but I just can't at the moment. We'll discuss that later. So let's first of all... Video settings, sound, microphone, okay. Settings down here. Uh -huh. 30, quality, 100. That's the same, that's all fine, MP4. And that is the same as that. So I'll see you guys in a minute when I'm in the game. Back in a second. Uh, before we go in the game, I just thought I'd better check something. And I'm recording with 
actions you can see the and so well if I yeah let's do record the actions so you can see the difference between action recording desktop and expert and we do the same with the others. I just thought of it too. Um okay now what I forgot to mention is the prices between each software. Like really that I do not like that stupid thing in the way. There's a way of hiding it. So bandy cam first. Mark you at least beside you. Bandy cam. P -C -E price. Okay. You'll have to do conversions or check yourself if you're not in Britain. Sorry, but I'm in Britain. So it's going to show me British prices. Buy now. Nope, it's going to show American prices. <laughs> Fair enough. One PC we'll look at. Ah, it's got both, so it's $39 or £32. Oh no. I'm in the wrong box of that. $39 or oh, £32. £2. So, not the cheapest, but not that expensive. Okay, that's that. So we've got OBS. And OBS is completely free, I want to say. Yep, OBS is completely free. That doesn't make me think it's going to be very good. Hmm. The plugins return, that is, that's quite cool. Okay, OBS is free, but you can donate. That's not an asset. That's not a have to. So the, the OBS is always going to be better than nearly every program then for that. Because it's free. You can't beat free. No such thing as cheaper than free. Okay, I'm X split. Ooh. Oh yes, and I forgot to mention... In a previous video, I said something like four pound ninety nine. I was lying. Well, I wasn't lying. But I made a mistake, and I'll explain that to you now. When it loads, don't forget how much more complicated this website is. Okay, now if you want to upgrade. It's four ninety nine a month for forty six months. I made a mistake. So if you're going for the low price in dollars, I have to use the user converting calculator if it you want to see in pounds, guys. And I try to do it myself. So I'm being lazy. I'll just quickly do it in a minute. Um, calculator. So at we'll go with the lowest one is. 2.50 for a month so oh yeah for 36 times was easy 36 so that's 90 pound 90 dollars for 36 months i say this one isn't as cheap so that's we'll just write down the dearest one because you only have other ones and then you got one so it's, yeah, makes sense to compare with the, no, I'll write them both down, I'm saying that. $90, or oh, that in, that we'll do in a minute, where the cheapest, for two times 50, 2.50 times 36 is sorry guys, 4.17 times 
36. Ah, I, I got them the way around. <laughs> I thought I'd done the one on the left and I'd done the one on the right first. I mean, every round. Blah, blah. And the other one is the dear one. First one's a cheap one, I made a mistake, as I said. $150.12. Not the cheapest. Not the cheapest. That is the big disadvantage with this program. But you can record in any resolution up to 7243. And you can compress it in 1080p, so it flags is 1080p and it still looks really good. But I'll explain that and show that in a different video. That's video editing. Now, and... Oh yeah. We go into here. Dollars to pounds. So I go in and I type in 90. So that's 67 pound. 67 dot. 97 okay now the dear one is 150.12 113 pound and 37 pound for 37 months or or say that or if you got enough money and you do go for this program which is what I want to do I'd highly recommend choosing a different option so just remember about if you ignore those there's a difference between different versions That you can have a look at. Um, there you go. Now, um, how would you do this? XSplit Broadcaster. There is a way, people, where you can buy it for full license, and you got a hundred. And it's like it's like a hundred pound or hundred dollars around that, around a hundred dollar, hundred pound mark for the full version, and you never need to pay anything ever again. Let's click on that. Here we go. Upgrade to premium. There you go. Lifetime license for premium is 449 USD. 449. Well, I think that's dollars, I'd say. Or if you have a basic license. For lifetime, it's three four nine, which is a lot of money, a lot of money. I want to get that full version, which on this again that I shouldn't have shut down, but I did. No, I'm good. I'm mixed up with my fingers. Pins, not pins on pounds, but well. 449, so that's 339. 339. Or 263 in pounds, obviously. So, yes, okay. Big disadvantage with X split. So far is it's expensive. It's not cheap. So do a pr price X split gets big frost. Clearly big frost. 
that's a, like very expensive for the price tag that is very expensive i think it's a really amazing program but i think that is way too dear to be honest way way too dear okay and now we've got action a c t i o n it is a very good program that i have one Another action we got, which operating system? Windows Seven? No, 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 no. Okay, let's go back. Uh, back. Bye. Oh, really. Let's try that again. Bye. First of all, I recommend choosing your right operating system. So, a action, screen and game capture one is what you want. Is this one here? Is dollars wise for action? Oh, I've put them in the wrong places. Whoops, lazy. Oh, I'll sort that out later. Um, action. So I just got to write this down in the game because I've actually put things in the wrong place. Is $29.95. And from Britain, not Europe, in Britain it's. Twenty pounds and ninety-five, and for Europe, whatever that is exactly supposed to mean, I haven't got a clue. It is twenty-four, ninety-five? So I mean, by good website, first website that has given me that symbol. R E U R. What is no symbol? It says E U R. Okay. I mean the first website that's given me so many options. Nice oh, action too. Yeah. Oh well. I thought it was F yeah. Next bit being silly. Now here we go. Fraps. If it'll load. Yay! Let's try the download rate. Yeah. It's okay. But considering that was only a 2.4 meg file. We'll give it a half a tick. It gets half a point. Bye. Twenty seven pound and perhaps it is twenty seven pound and I done it again. Which um So used to writing it around the other way. Oh well. It's just thirty five seventy five. Basically thirty five. So I'm just gonna write down thirty five. So hmm So the cheapest one so far is well obviously OBS because it's free. Is Bandicam. Nope. It's fraps. Hmm. Fraps, then it's 
OBS. Hmm. But still, price is a price, and if you want to become a big popular YouTube, you will have to spend a lot of money. I've only got 58 subscribers, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. And all the likes and comments you do make when you do, but I've had to spend a lot of money to get that. Hundreds. Now, as I said before, I'll see you in the game. Going to game, I know I keep saying I'm going to, but so many things to do, <laughs> I keep forgetting things. Okay, I was just recording Bandicam, and I am now saying that. And the, and the reason and the blah is a full version, so I've got the code entered because I paid for it. Now, if you didn't pay for it, you would get right in the middle of your screen a water seal like that, which would say X split, which would say something along the lines of Bandicam, please buy it. And it will never go away. So you can't use it free version. So you have to buy it. Disadvantage. X split. You can use it free version and you don't have to buy it. We was doing it a minute ago. That's how I do all my videos. You can only go 720. But at least you can do it for free. So I'm going to make another little... Um, so, recording for free, okay, Bandicam does not do it, XSplit does do it, OBS definitely does it, Action does not do it, I do believe, Fraps does not do it, it says straps across the screen. So if I'm wrong about some of those. We'll find out in a minute with some of them anyway. Okay, so this is what this one's recording like. Two seconds. Hey guys, now I'm recording the desktop with OBS. Now you can see the writing on here and compare that and the quality. It's still in 720. Like I've put in everything in and basically the same settings which I'll show you now that's OBS now here we go OBS okay with OBS I should have done this with Bandicam my bad right a minute actually with OBS the record nightmare go go into the settings I have to go into Video, I have to customize this, obviously I can't do it because I'm recording And then I have to choose the right file type That one recording being mp4 Out, so it puts in FM, FLV which is unplayable by Windows Yes, okay, you get a lot of file type choices But why do you want them? You just want it in mp4 To be completely honest, so then Windows can play it And, well, video editors recognize it if it's not in MP4, a lot of video editors will reject it, as far as I know. Now, I don't like that. I don't see why you would want all those options, but I suppose somebody might like them, fair enough. You set up the scenes, like, go like that, and you put display for desktop, game for game, like you do in XSplit. But there's so many... You can stream to with it, which is nice, don't know how good it is. You output in old audio settings, video settings. A lot of hotkeys you can set up. And all that. But as I say, I don't think that's necessary. And what an, what an annoyance. And look at that. Look at that. CPU usage, 32% was on 44% using quarter of my CPU power now I'm not sure if that's good or not but that's what OBS looks like but yeah OBS is more complicated and well I, I don't like it I would show more but I don't know much about it but this is just a quality test so check your writing, concentrate on the writing and then treat it. 
Now we're here in uh, XSplit Broadcaster and support, check the writing quality, picture quality okay and in a minute or two we'll go into here and we'll go in here and we'll do a quality check and I'll load them all up in pictures so we can see them all one by one so you can play that part of the video, rewind it and play it and see what you think explain it's annoying messages I must admit that's really annoying but just like OBS you go in here you go scoop, screen capture which is a desktop or game capture and you've got some other options okay, as you can see I'm on desktop this is in 720 high quality like I said with all the programs same codex and on this one you've got options in there, you've got your sources which is like here, you're like what you're recording, what source means your output record, you can record stream YouTube and Twitch not just Twitch like the OBS this is the way of setting it up these other options you've got your extensions which I don't know what they are, I don't use them and your tools and of course your settings which are here which is a lot more simpler to understand I think your account details are not clicking on that and then your advanced stuff okay and over here you got your resolution and you got your screen rate but nice and easy to access And when you set this up and you choose one you want, when you first do it to like, I can't show you because I'm recording with it, but when you first make one you get a little box, like your desktop for example will be a little box, you just, so it's a little box like this, you just go in the corner and drag it bigger, like you would with any Windows window. Okay, Windows window, eh? and then the record which is output one day I will do a lot more detailed program on this which will not be part of this series it will be a different series altogether but I will go into really great detail on how to use this program output and then you just go start recording say stop recording of course because I am recording and that's the base of that program I say don't look at the picture the quality of writing for desktop capturing in 720 I'll be back in a second with the next program. I'm now here in action now. As I said before, look at the picture, text quality, see the differences. Now, same settings. And here you go, settings, you've got this, you've got high quality, your input range and all this. The other settings, audio settings. Display HUD, but something more than that, when we do FPS in game. And there's that. And all of that business, you can do live, remote action, you can record just audio if you wanted to, which I think is a really nice feature it's got. It's got it for benchmarking, and you can take pictures with it, which is all cool. All your key setups, nice and simple, easy to understand, easy to set up. Just remember when you're recording with this one, if you use this one, or down here, put your microphone on option, as you won't record your voice. That got me for a minute to a minute ago. But there we go. Now, that's that. Very basic. And that is not a big video. A program overhaul. I mean, program preview. Just a quick show you stuff. Quality. So, writing quality. Picture quality. Program quality. Back in a minute with the next one. You check out the quality. Okay, now I'm recording the XSplit Broadcaster because this thing here, Fraps, is... I'll be honest, I, no, it's not an opinion, it's, not, it's a fact, it's crap. I'm sorry to anyone who likes a program, I don't really suspect, but it's crap. It doesn't record desktop. Okay, it doesn't record desktop. There's no way of starting the recording in the program. I can only start recording by pushing F9. Okay, now the disadvantages with that is this. 
If you can do desktop recording and the program does not detect your game, you can't record your game. So that makes it absolutely useless nearly for being a big YouTuber because then you're only you're very limited to what games you can you're limited to what games you record. No guess games it will because most games will capture that way. But some won't, especially the older games. And the options. Where's the options? Is that it? There is no options. There's nothing you can do. It's what I wanna change it records an AVI. I wanna change that. Nope. So I'm gonna have to record the video. You'd have to record the video, then convert it to MP4. Because you record your video editing program might not be able to do AVI. The most of like MP4. And I can't see a way of changing it. So I highly do not recommend using FP Fraps. I'm never gonna mention Fraps again. And Fraps is an absolute failure and that program's been taken off the list and deleted. Bye bye fraps. See you in a minute. And that's nothing before I go. You close one go, it goes, if you close down the program, it won't be recorded. If you close down the program, you can't record. Yeah, obviously if you close the program you can't record really fraps makers. Back hey in guys, so I'm here now in New Vegas as you can see. Ah, oh, Fallout New Vegas should say. We're at 29 FPS, so I'm recording with bandy cam at the moment. Oh yeah, what am I doing? I've got the only mod to install this is my mod testing pack. And you can see 29 FPS. 23, 26, 25. And I can see the quality now. That's what the writing looks like. No mods installed, just vanilla. Yeah, yeah, sorry, this is vanilla, not my mod pack testing. I mean, stupid, sorry. This is what I've got to save game for. So, yeah. So, around the 30 FPS mark is what I get. But on average, for this program, I don't on average, but on average, it's a stable FPS. Obviously, this will change depending on the game. I'll try a more powerful game at the moment later, with one that really pushes my computer. But this game is easy for my computer. I can only play at 60. I do believe. Okay, now I'll be back in a second for now. Okay, I'm now here in OBS recorded. We got 61, 65, 60. Which is a lot better. Then we did get that a temporary for action. Or 55. I took that from the corner so it was a bit small. A little steam. It doesn't have a in-game display counter. I think it's a good thing, we'll explain that after I don't know what this recording test is. Okay, all 46. It's around 60 most of the time. Okay, that is a lot better. Okay, I'm going to stop recording and start. Okay, now I'm not going to move yet. You will find with this one, which is X split, it's going to be laggy. I don't know actually ain't that bad. It's a minute ago it was. Just I didn't let my computer load up. Which in ideal it is lag year 2719. Which I know some people like say told you and they are expert causes lag. No it does not cause lag. You will find though in looking at these videos you probably noticed it already. The quality of this video footage is better. But we'll go into that in a moment. But on ultra graphics on my computer, on oh, 720 on the highest settings as I've done with all of these programs, you're getting 48, 47. Okay. Obviously, if I lower the settings down, this lag will go. Obviously, guaranteed. 
If it's a program causing lag, no matter what settings I put it in, it wouldn't do that. Okay, okay. now I've got a Linux split, now I'm in normal quality. Still laggy. Cut it out, will you? I'm only clicking my trigger. But I bet the whole quality even on standard is still higher. It's just this program is really high quality video footage. Okay. Back in a minute. Obviously before I go, that does limit what games you can record with this program because you need a faster computer. Back in a bit. Okay now we're here in action. And we've got, as you see, in the top left hand corner, the Steam FPS, and in the top right hand corner, the Programs FPS, which is, well, as far as I'm concerned, wrong, because I believe Steam is, Steam is right. But there we go. Got bullets again now because I had to reload, but there we go. Um, running smoother, but I bet the video quality is lower. Even though they're on the same settings. Well, basically the same settings, close as I can get each program. Anyway. That's not going to make a difference in the floor and all. You'll find the easiest place to look is when I'm running around these like grasses, around items. I mean, around like telegraph poles and stuff. So, yeah. I would do a screen. I'm not sure I'll explain as a matter. But yeah. 30, I'm going to look at 44, 42. This is why I started with this program. As you can see, I, so I've said action was badly came up first when I first done the first recording in game. This is one of the reasons why I recorded with action at first. It's stable. It hates some games, I'll be honest, but it's stable. As you can see, the FPS is very stable. But yeah, okay. Back in a minute, and we'll do some other comparings. Here, yeah, back on my desktop, and I'm gonna have to go in a minute. So we're gonna have to split this up into two parts. Before I go, I'm gonna say, because my right, well, well, first thing is that what you've just watched took me three and a half hours to make. Well, that's just the recording side. Obviously, the video is not three and a half hours long. Now, um. So in the next video, what we'll do is, we'll load up each one, okay, of the in-game, and, I forgot where that's going to be, um, we'll put the windows like one, like one, one here, and that one, here, 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 and we'll play and we'll play them one by one, and see what the difference is with quality and audio, and see what one sounds better and looks better. And then we'll go through the process again, but I'll load up a very low-powered game that takes hardly any computer processing power, and which like. Super Mustache, for example, which is like a 2D game that I could record on max quality without no lag, perfect, 24/7. So then, if any program, does, if the net, then if there is any lag, that is definitely the recording software causing lag. And I'll show you it actually. We will use. I know, I know! Stupid Steam! Do you know you've got security set up on your computer? Mm -hmm. Sorry. It annoys me every single time, nearly. S U P E R. Let me know. Oh, that is. We'll be using this one here. Showing it in the air because I show you the power. Really basic little game. 
power z z2 gig for 128 mega ram 256 graphics card 70 meg storage it's <laughs> my computer can definitely run it with its 3.2 gig processor it's one gig graphics card 8 gig ram on a 2 trillibyte hard drive with direct x 11 i mean 12 whatever the latest is 12 i do believe so yeah use that as an fps test and then i will find another game i have for the witcher 3 that i cannot play it causes lag maybe not witcher 3 too powerful find a game that, co- that is really powerful that i can play saying that which causes lag when i'm recording so we can see how good it handles recording a game at extreme pressure so we've got extreme pressure, we've got mid-range and low-end. And then we've got video desktop capturing. But and by that, the time we've done all of that, then you guys should be able to decide what program is best for you. If you've got a nice fast processor like an i7 or something, not like I haven't got, and you've got a good graphics card, I would recommend XSplit. And I will say this at the end of the tests. I will still recommend the XSplit. I could be wrong. And I could change recording software. Nah. That's not going to happen. But we'll see. I could be wrong. I haven't done these tests before. So I'll see you guys again for my next part. How to become a, a popular YouTube. Bye for now.